you know, does a 20 year old in Chicago, does, does he get the deal that Hunter Biden got? Uh, of course not. Look, look, today is a really sad day for the rule of law. And, and, and every American who cares about justice ought to be outraged. What happened today is three things at once. Number one, it is cronyism. Number two, it is camouflage. And number three, it's corruption. Let's start with cronyism. This does not happen if Hunter's last name is anything other than Biden. If he's Hunter Smith, he's doing hard time. It is only because daddy is president that he gets this sweetheart deal with no jail time whatsoever. But number two, it's camouflage. Listen, I predicted months ago that what happened today is exactly what would happen. I do every week a podcast, Verdict with Ted Cruz, three days a week. And what I said on Verdict is I said, Merrick Garland is going to indict, indict Hunter Biden because he wants to be able to say, look how even handed I am. I indicted a Biden. I indicted a Trump. And, and I said, there's going to be a tell for whether they actually care about enforcing the law. If they go after some ticky tack tack of tax offense or gun crime and they make it all personal and they isolate it just to Hunter Biden, then, you know, this is just about the Biden Department of Justice pretending to be even handed. But the third thing it is, and the most troubling thing it is, is corruption, because the purpose of this indictment is what you just played a minute ago. It's for the media to say it's all over. Don't look into the big guy. And, and the reason this is on the news right now, the reason we're talking about this it is not that Hunter Biden is some troubled soul with substance abuse issues. It is that he sold access to his father, who was vice president of the United States, who was president of the United States. And the evidence of corruption of Joe Biden personally making millions of dollars is growing and growing and growing. And the Biden Justice Department is doing everything they can to cover up and stonewall and hide.